All right. So, right here is going to be this here. Ha ha! Look at that. As you might see, this is an engine. It's an actually a pretty new engine. It's from a uh, Stiga lawn mower, and uh, I got it for free. Very cool. Um, I don't really know what to do with this engine yet. Um, you know, I might fix it and sell it off. Uh, you might ask, well, you just said that the engine is working fine. Yes, the engine itself is indeed working fine. Uh, the only issue with it is actually just a broken... Uh, well, it's a, it's a broken shaft. So, it's a bit heavy. Yeah. Screw this screw out, and I hope you do see this. If I screw this screw out, this is half of the drive shaft um, out, right? So, because the rest of the drive shaft is inside, but this is half of the outer, um, you know, side of the drive shaft, and this is the other half. It's broken off. So this thing is the only issue of this lawnmower and I'm pretty sure that we should be able to weld this drive shaft together because the thing is, you know, as you may know, maybe not, engines that are gasoline, uh, they output power with a shaft, a drive shaft, right? So this thing here usually gets like a sprocket of some sort or... Um, you can weld the sprocket to it or just, you know, do a drive shaft power delivery. And um, basically, you need a drive shaft uh, so the engine works. Long story short. That's, um, yeah, that's the way it works. So, um, other than this broken drive shaft, which is, you know, it's a bit of a pain in the arse, but you know, it's free engine, so I don't mind really. Everything else is fine, right? So, this thing here, maybe I will sell it, maybe I will fix it and build a motorcycle out of it, maybe I will build a powered sofa, maybe I will build a... I don't know. We'll see! Who knows? Honestly, I've got no idea. I just got this today. Um, I don't really have a, any special plans for it as of yet, except for, you know, fixing it. But yes, this is the engine, we'll do something about it. Alrighty, we are back on the table with gloves and some more mechanic, uh, uh, mechanic tools. We are going to take a sneak peek into the carburetor of this machine, because although um, it's supposed to be, you know, in running condition. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the carburetor is good. Very often, machines that have been, you know, that had a tough life, like this one, it's, you know, it's a broken drive shaft. Uh, they very often are quite dirty on the carb side, right? So, um, as per usual, um, mechanics. Guidelines, I'm going to take a little peek into the car. You know, it might be nice and clean and, you know, this will be a total waste of time or we will find some nasty gunks that need to be cleaned off. And, um, you know, this is uh, something you've probably seen a million times because I do it on every single machine that I get. Because, well, that's usually the first thing that goes bad. So, um, I might even, you know, try to cut some things like, you know, screwing on screws, but we'll see. Alright, the filter cover is loose, and now we can reveal the carburetor. There it is, there, perfect. Can't even focus on it. Let's see, oh, well, the carb body uh, doesn't look too 
dead. I do see some gunk in them though. So we are going to take a bit of them. Papers. Try to just gently persuade this off. It seems to be a bit stuck. So um, a little bit of um, silicone spray. Could just you know plastic lubricant. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, this really it's really on there. Well, let's try a different approach. Just <sighs> motherfucker. You know, I might have to change this one. Uh, well, we'll try again. Let's see. Usually this works fine, but Jesus Christ, that was really on the. I think I might have to change the um, this hose. In that case, I'll just go straight into the clippers and just chop it off. There we go. Okay, just keep this little ring here. You bastard. Get up there. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll do it later. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do is take off our dandy carby if we can. Is it loose? Seems to be. Okay, let's start with the gasket. Everything seems to be stuck a little bit on this. Let's take a flat screwdriver right here and just gently pry it off. Come on. Come on. Okay, we've got this thing here. Let's not lose that. Where is this supposed to go? This is supposed to go in here. Little roundy thingy with the come on, get off there. See some rubber flaking off. This seems to be actually in quite decent condition. Not sure if you can. Oh, it's so nice with autofocus. It doesn't seem to be too bad, honestly. I will probably reuse this. Whoop. Ah, so cool. Alright, now the car layer is free. What we need to do now is just take off the uh, take it off. Jeez, this was, this was tiny because this is uh, this is the gas. So this is fully closed. This is fully open, and this thing here is the choke. That's indeed. Seem like that. Alright, we'll just start start to take it apart, I guess. Um, first of all, I'm gonna try to take off. Hmm. How to do this without damaging anything? So this one needs to go up. This will go take off later. This needs to go. Okay, let's just start with the spring. This little thing here, which I'm not sure you can see, but maybe you can. It's very, 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 very small. So it's hard to show. Come on, springy. There we go, springs off. Now, we could, but we can, we need to commence with uh, this assembly part. This little thingy here, this little lever, it's a gas lever, and we need to have it off. There we go, that should gently 
Ah, perfect. There we go. Now it's off. And now we should be able to hmm, solve this. It's going to be a wee bit difficult, isn't it? Yes, it will. Uh, oh well. There we go. Now the gasket. This um, we just kind of give it a tug. But I really, really don't want to immediately do this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Woo! It's really bad design. Okay. Oh, there we go. Well, that's off. Well, it's quite interesting to see here that it is that you know everything is bone dry. There is nothing here that's you know that's wet. So it does seem like the engine itself hasn't been run for um, for a long time, or uh, the um, someone did some work on this previously to me. So this is the carburetor. Focus, focus, booby dooby, there we go. It's quite small, but it's, um, you know, standard lawnmower size, I would say. So now, what I really want to do is see what's in the football. And do that. First, screw up our. Hmm, or maybe not. You know what? Let's go. Do we have fuel in here? The answer is no, no fuel at all. Well, it's a, it's a good sign, definitely. In that case, I'm going to try to just you know open it all up. See, if, Jesus Christ! Be right back. See if um, carburetor is clean and good on the inside. Could it? If it is, then you know you're, we're gone. Because in theory, there shouldn't really be anything wrong with this. But you know, I would rather check it now than after I've installed it onto something. So, um... oh, Jesus Christ, that's really stuck on, isn't it? Oh well, we'll keep trying. Ah, there we go. Ooh, let's see, what do we have here? Huh? Focus, focus. Oh, it's not that. Oh, did you see that? Look. Perfect, it's spotless. This looks like a brand new carburetor. It's um it's perfect. Hey, this is this is the first time we've seen this for a long time. Usually there's always something in here, but this is spotless. Absolutely perfect. Hmm. You see, this is a bit strange because usually when you have a motor engine with a, a broken uh, with a broken drive shaft, it usually means it's been, you know, beat up. And usually, beat up motors have beat up carburetors. This is, uh, it's not a first, but like, it's, it's seriously rare that you see a carburetor so clean on the inside. Oh, cool. Um, well, I'm. Either way, going to just give it a light spritz with a um, with brake cleaner, just to be sure that everything in here is nice and clean. All right, got the brake cleaner. Let's just clean up to be sure. This is indeed spotless on the inside. I did see some gunk in the actual 
mouth of the cabrier and it is indeed somewhat dirty but it's not it's not bad it's nothing that you know nothing out of the nothing unusual with the uh, with this gun seems to be um, seems to be fine just give it a nice clean on this side too Very nice. And now I'm just gonna reassemble it. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's good, it's clean. Nothing wrong with it. And we can probably skip this part since um, this is just the same on reverse. Alrighty, the carburetor uh, is back together, as you saw, it's looking spotless, but this is very strange, because I just had a little peek in the gas tank, and it's spotless, there's nothing in there. Usually when you have gasoline in something, and that gasoline gets used, emptied up, you have a little bit of fine, like, gasoline dust that you um, can't get rid of if you, you know, don't clean it with, with like an acid or something. This is spotless. Both the carburetor and the gas tank look like they've never been used or they've been professionally cleaned. Which is a bit strange. Um, I mean, I, I do see some wear, like on the, on the flywheel. So it obviously has been used before, but how is this so clean on the inside? This is strange to me. Usually every machine I get looks meh on the outside and on the inside, right? But this is just meh on the outside and ah on the inside. How come? How can this be? It's, it's, it's very strange, honestly. It's, um, it's a bit of a mystery. Because from all I know, uh, I got this motor from one of my friends, who also works as a mechanic, and he got this motor from one of his um, big customers, who just you know, had it laying around because it had a broken, you know, drive shaft. I don't really understand this. It's it's very strange. I mean, this is this motor is worth a lot of money if I can get the drive shaft working because it looks brand new. So um, I might take a little peek down the um, spark plug probably that's the next thing to do check how the actual piston looks inside if that one's good because i know it's got good oil uh, at least good enough and i will probably change it if i decide to you know use it as a you know for something so we'll change it. it's got decent oil for now carburetor is spotless gas tank is spotless the engine itself runs because I, I checked it with start gas and there's no uh, so it runs uh, although I didn't run it with a carburetor only thing to buy new uh, new car hose because that one was um, very very crusty it's um it's very hard that's not how a gasoline hose is supposed to be so I can clearly see that it's been at least outside for a while Anyways, right now let's take a peek on the spark plug, at the spark plug, and maybe I will bring out my um, my inspection camera and just slide it down and see how the inside of the engine looks like. So let's get straight into it. Cut. Alright, I've managed to take the spark plug off. If you look at closely at the... Uh, at the spark plug. Yeah. Oh, this works. Maybe, maybe, maybe no. Yeah, you can see it's wet. It's um, it's quite wet. So it definitely has been used. It's a bit too wet for my liking, but it's not terrible. Uh, so if you get a wee bit of sandpaper and just. Just slightly sand it through so I'm sure that we've got good contact. 
All right, got a bit of sandpaper. I'm just gonna gently brush through. Spot work, just to make sure that contacts are nice and clean. Because sometimes, you know, they just get a bit just rusty and dirty and crusty and you don't really want that in a spark plug. Well, nice and clean contact. And that way it just fires better and runs better also, lasts longer. There we go, that looks uh, quite nice. Now, to test if the thing works. Maybe. Okay. Flickers off. No, I'm not going to bother to test it now. I'm 99% sure that it works because I think it fired before. Um, now, I'm not think. I don't think I'm going to bother to look at the um, the cylinder and piston just because if this has been run and this does indeed look like it's been run relatively recently uh, it should be fine so last thing to do for today's episode is weld up the uh, drive shaft we'll see how that goes that will be the fun part because <laughs> um, I can clearly see that it's steel but I don't know what steel uh, so we'll really just have to see if the welder welds it or not. It's a bit of hit and miss. But, you know, that's how things go. There we go. That's good enough. Throw this very back on. Lovely. And now, after just scratching up my table. Oh well, this table is for work. It gets scratched. Time to weld. And that means that I think for now, best thing to do is just attach it. Uh, 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 this, this looks somewhat uh, like the way it used to be. And I can clearly see that someone's been here previously to me. I mean, this has been welded before. But this obviously hasn't been welded properly enough. Because it sucks and broke off. It's not supposed to break if these are good welds. And so, you know, someone wasn't a decent enough welder to you know, fix this. And if this happens, I'm trying to <coughs> really tightening up as much as I can. There you go. Because this way, that way I'm just sure that we've got nice and full contact throughout the entire brick. Now, into the blacksmith's workshop, aka the forge, aka the welding place. Let's go. Alrighty people, as you just saw, I've managed to weld the drive shaft together. It's welded surprisingly nicely, honestly. I'm kind of impressed how well it came up. It's, um, the welds are nice and smooth. Um, I don't know what type of steel this is, but I really enjoyed welding. It was very nice and smooth and the welds came out just as they should. Very cool. Well, um, this will probably be it for today's episode, mostly because it is getting late and there isn't really that much else to do here other than, you know, just, you know, think about what can I do with this and try to try to start and maybe test, test it or something, maybe for next episode, something like this. Well, anyways, this was um, a wee bit different than what, you, what I usually do. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you... you um, you know, maybe found this useful. 
don't know, maybe. Hmm? Hmm? I don't know, man, I don't know. But anyways, great thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. That would be nice. It helps, you know. Yes. And as always, keep on riding. Oh, boy.